Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video here of East Coast Avengers, and uh, this is going to be our first part of two. We're going to put out two videos of the trailer reactions. We're going to watch three now, and then three after on the next video, and uh, pretty much it's going to be the first DC fandom, which we didn't get a chance to watch live yesterday. Um, mm -hmm. We're recording this on Sunday, and we haven't seen anything. Um, yeah, nothing this is all really. Yeah, it's all pretty new. Uh, I've been to keep it as, like, like secret Staying off Twitter, yes. staying off yeah. Instagram. Yeah. I've been super excited, especially for one trailer, which we'll get to in a second. Um, but I mean, this this video we're watching. Yeah, we're watching Wonder Woman '84. Uh, I believe Justice League. Justice League. Snyder, 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 Snyder cut. cut, and then we're gonna do Batman, which is the one. Yeah. I'm, and I'm, I'm and in the next video, we're gonna do Suicide Squad, um, mm -hmm. the game, movie, movie, and movie, 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 and then Gotham Knights. The mm -hmm. game. Yeah. So, so without yeah. further ado, I really want to jump into it. This is gonna be the Wonder Woman '84 trailer. So JT, we're gonna start in three, two, one. This world is not yet ready for all that you will do. Her time will come, Diana. And everything will be different. Yeah, but I couldn't the see The face, like, he said it looked like CGI. cats, right? It looked like cats. I love it like cats. But I can't, mm -hmm. I, I wish I could just see it. Like, like, I wish this could be a shot in the movie mm -hmm. where it's just her, like, not moving around. Yeah, but yeah. even looking at the thumbnail, it looks, like, very dark, like, mm -hmm. uh, she, shrunken head so quick. type. Yeah. Like, but the body looks good. It yeah. looks better than what I thought it was going to be. And, uh, yeah, that's what... From, from Cheetah, but everything else looks pretty, pretty yeah. cool. I like the first trailer a little bit better. Uh, yeah, it just had more of a same. fun tone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, this one, you know, it was, it was just nice to see a little bit more. Um, for Cheetah. I feel, like, well. I feel like this trailer was definitely more of, like, fan service. Because after the first mm -hmm. one, everybody went, what does she look like? What does the gold armor look like? What mm -hmm. is this? Blah, blah, blah. You know, it's more, this one more of that. And I will say that I'm... Mm, <laughs> it's just bringing me back to Cats, and Cats was a terrible movie. And you watched uh, it? I, unfortunately. Oh, man. Unfortunately. You I didn't subject myself to that unfortunately. trash, honestly. Me so, I um, uh, that's... I, mm, I don't okay, know about all okay. that. So do you need to go to counseling, JT? <laughs> yes. One thing I do want to say was the Nightmares. armor looked amazing. Yes. I've oh, already yeah. seen, like, um, even before they had, um, like, leaks and stuff for the first trailer, they had Funko Pop leaks. Right. And the Pops yeah. had, like, the wings and her armor. It looked amazing, and I was like, man... I'm ready to see this. We saw it in the trailer. Then we saw it here, you know, when she actually took the wings off and stuff. It looked really dope. I loved it. 
Yeah, they, uh, that's from the Kingdom Come storyline. Mm -hmm. Okay. So yeah, it's pretty cool. I wonder why she needs it though. She's just fighting Cheetah. Yeah. Why? So I wonder if there's bigger things at play with um, Pedro Pascal's character. I think it's Godfrey. I don't. Yeah. That he plays. I, don't, I, don't I know he's like a. He has to do. I know he has to do something with the. Do you think he might have be a reason to bring uh, the guy that I I, I didn't see the first one, so mm -hmm. like I, I still I'm really behind. But what's the name oh, of yeah, Wonder Steve Woman's Oh, yeah, yeah, Steve, Steve yeah. Trevor. Uh, Steve Steve Trevor. Trevor. Yeah, yeah. Do you think he might be the reason behind his coming back? Yeah, there's there's definitely a reason why he's, like, in the movie at all. Because yeah. uh, if he wasn't that big, other than his personality, he would just be like a J. Jonah Jameson, where he is part yeah. of the world, but he's yeah. not like... If we saw a Spider-Man trailer, it wasn't like he would be, like, in a shot with, you know, doing some stuff with a villain or something, you know? Right, he would right. just be like in the Daily Beagle doing his usual J. Jonah, J. Jonah Jameson stuff. So yeah, I think he has to do something. I think he's a villain, and maybe he hired Cheetah, or Cheetah yeah. hired him or something. Well, it almost had that, like, to me, listening to Kristen Wiig or, you know, uh, Cheetah talk about the reason she's kind of going after is kind of like the Venom vibe that I got from Spider-Man 3. You have all of this power. It's not fair to me. All that attention, too. Yeah, or kind of like um, the shocker feel from... Amazing Spider-Man 2 uh, with Garfield. Uh, yeah, you know, because yeah. Shocker was more like, you're my hero, and then it's like, why is all the attention on you and not me? That's the kind of Shocker, vibe... You mean Electro? Yeah, ele yeah Electro. Um, yeah, Shocker was in uh, Homecoming. Or, um, yeah. But, like, I I don't know. I just got the feel... I, I, I'm i excited for the movie. I, j I just watched the movie the other night, so... The first one, yeah. Uh, yeah, the first one, so... Um, I, I'm, I'm excited for it. Um, I hope they kind of do a little bit better with... Uh, Cheetah, because again, it's giving me that cat, that cat's vibe, and yeah. I'm not liking that at all. All right, so. you guys ready for the Snyder cut? Yes, yes. Yeah. The most, the very anticipated Snyder cut. Yes. Which uh, really threw me off that they were announcing it. So let's wait. Get into it. Click on it and make sure there's like an ad. Oh yeah. There might be. So what? Okay. okay. No ad. Let's go. Let's do it. Now there was a secret chorus that tried to kill me and then please the Lord. But you don't really care oh, for music, do you? It's really a big upgrade from the original. That looks like what the... It goes like this. The fourth, the fifth, the minor fall, the major lift, the baffled king composing hallelujah. Okay. the trailer I am genuinely excited like yeah. genuinely the beginning scene is just happy yeah and I like the whole the song I don't know what it's called the one from Shrek 
Uh, that's what I, yeah, um, Hallelujah, I think that's what it's actually yeah, called now. But no, it, just, it looks like there's way more scenes. It just, it gave me that comic book vibe because that's what, uh, what's, that's what I got when I watched Justice League War animated film. Mm. Or even watching that, the New 52, the, uh, reading the comic. I mean, I got that vibe. There's like lots of scenes and it just has a different vibe. From, I know I've already seen the movie, the yeah. Justice League movie, but it feels like this is a new movie. Yeah, like, it does. I so excited. I wasn't a fan of the music choice. Shocker. I just <laughs> that just doesn't. It didn't. I, I don't know. It just didn't have that vibe. It, either a, if you're gonna play Hollywood, you're gonna be in church, or Shrek. <laughs> or Shrek. I mean, that, those are the only <laughs> two. Jesus like, says it like it is. I, I mean, it is what it is. Now, I will say, throughout the entire <laughs> event fandom, um, I saw plenty of people text me and tweet me and say that. It, they still feel the same about the the original, you know, Justice mm -hmm. League, which I, that may from seeing this, I want to see this, but I still am going to be thinking of the the mm -hmm. non Snyder cut. Yeah. Right. So that's I feel like the the first Snyder cut or the first Justice League is like putting a damper on this one almost. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Like like people are still going to be like, uh, you know, uh, there are still people out there who are very iffy. Even after seeing this right. this trailer, right. Right. so right. I mean I, I like it. I, I definitely want to see it. It's got my attention. So um, maybe a music choice change, but that, that's about it for me. <laughs> I don't have much to add. I mean, it looked interesting. It looked a little bit more of an upgrade, and I'm yeah. really curious to see his uh, his angle of the movie. But that that's pretty much it for me. It looked it looked really good. I I'm like I haven't I've only seen Justice League twice. I didn't. Really, uh, I enjoyed it the first time because I was really hyped about it. You saw the it two times. Yeah, you watched it. Twice? Uh, I saw, I saw it again because I was like, maybe I didn't see everything I saw. I saw it twice in theaters, and I don't own the movie, but I did enjoy it for what it was, even though it was rushed. But I appreciated it because I grew up with Justice League. Yeah, and I, I feel like I don't know. This is this is so much more like comic reference. Like it's so much yeah. closer to the comics. Yeah, oh, yeah. because mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if you guys noticed, but there's the Justice League. There's already another version of Justice League. There's a Justice League that came out in theaters, which mm -hmm. is the one we all saw. Mm -hmm. Then, if you got Justice League on Blu-ray, it came with an extra 30 minutes. Mm. Not that's not the standard cut though. Right. right. It's just and I other... watched that as well, and that was more content added, and it made the movie better. Like I would rate those movies as separate movies, okay. right? Because right. the 30 minutes that they added weren't. It wasn't like a 30 minute addition to the movie. It was like a minute here, a minute there, a minute there. Right. But in total it was 30 minutes. It's like an extended and, But it made it more coherent. Right. right. And if this movie, it's going to be even more content, I feel like it's going to make it hopefully, hopefully more coherent and just better. And if they can do that, because now when I watch Justice League, if I watch it, I'm not watching the theater, the theatrical. Yeah, I'm watching yeah, that 30 extra minute content, yeah. extra version because I like that more. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I am wishful thinking I am a DC fan I do want it to be good so but no I, I I'm excited for it like the, I, I want uh, I, you know we're all gonna watch it but I'm yeah. I'm tight for it I really am the, yeah. oh definitely I mean I don't really care about the music choice I feel like I mean one it didn't fit but two it it kind of did I don't know, just went with the vibe because it wasn't like a fast-paced trailer it was like slow they had a lot of flashbacks and those flashbacks were like pretty sweet mm -hmm. showing more of like cyborg I mean they had Aquaman Wonder Woman Batman Superman We've already seen those, but like Flash and Cyborg, we haven't seen much of. Yeah. And they don't have their own movies, and so seeing some of that just tells you there's going to be a lot more of them in the movie and their past. And I'm really looking forward to it because I love Cyborg. Cyborg's like one of my favorites from Justice League. And, and I'm speak, like excited about it. speaking of flashbacks, there was that scene where Flash came back from the future to tell Batman about, like, don't trust, yeah. don't trust Superman. And then there was that scene where he was like in the desert and Superman was evil. And there was the apocalypse logo on like the ground. And it was, yeah. and they showed that in the trailer, but in the movie, in the original movie, that's all it was. So you're like, what, what is that? Here? You know. Yeah. But hopefully in this trailer, because you can something... see the apocalypse sign on Darkseid's chest. Yeah. Or my bad, the Omega sign. Omega yeah. sign. Uh, but it's like upside down. Um, they show that more. Like they mm -hmm. they, they go on like because they look like nukes went off. Mm -hmm. Like yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. They yeah. had that mushroom cloud. So I'm like, huh. Also, one thing before we go to the next one, I. Thumbnail needs to change. <laughs> I, mean, I know. I mean, when, when we looked it up, it was like, oh, there he is. It's like, oh yeah, dark. Like, ah. Well, it did open up with him. That was yeah. the first, like, yeah, the first. Screen. But like, yeah. but like, if you're searching it for like our purposes, like, we don't want to see anything. We don't want to see any spoilers. Oh, it's right there. You yeah. know, like, I don't know. But, but 
Moving on. Yes. Oh man, I'm so excited for this one. The big yes. one. Oh, oh man. man. Next. Ah. So right, uh, let's go. before we start, um, obviously. You can tell. I have, been, I have been saying that this movie, I'm um, sorry JT and Mutz have probably really crushed you, but I have been more excited for this movie than I have any other movie. Marvel, Star Wars, I know there's no Star Wars coming out pretty soon, but just anyways, anything just general. anything. I've been excited for this movie. Yeah. Because yeah. I really think Robert Pattinson's going to kill it. Yeah, I, I agree. I um, so. When I first heard, obviously, we, I, I, I'm not going to lie, I had that that instinct like well wait, it Robert was Pattinson. joker that elevated the excitement for batman because when i saw joker and i saw how great it could be as like not part of the dceu mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and just how it's independent and, the, and the, yeah exactly and the director is so focused on making a good story right. and not worrying about trying to match with the dceu and all that kind of stuff right it came out as obviously one of my favorite movies of all time is joker mm -hmm. so when the batman came out and they said it's not gonna be connected to dceu at least from what we know it just it just well, makes you more excited well, that's not what you know spurred me out it was like the fact that i'm not gonna lie i had that that um, what's that, that instant reaction of like Robert Pattinson oh, yeah. you know because again I'm not going to lie I'm not going to sit here like oh yeah he's going to be good when I first heard it I was like oh I could think of Twilight but then I, I you know time went on and these pictures came out that if you don't know of the Batmobile of the Bat Cycle mm -hmm. of him mm -hmm. in the suit and I was like you know what maybe I've been too uh, rough. I've been judgmental you know I was judging the book before yeah. I you know uh, or judging the cover of the book um, but I've heard pretty good things and I feel like I was unfair to yeah. Robert Pattinson to just judge him for the one series that he's done yeah, when and Lighthouse just came out with Willem Dafoe and he was he killed it in that movie mm -hmm. so the guy can act you oh know, and the guy, he has Tenet coming out as well yeah Tenet's yeah. coming out with mm -hmm. for Christopher Nolan so the guy can act and he's got that I mean he can build himself up to that Batman look you know yeah and he definitely has the charms you know of a Bruce Wayne yes the, the, the looks the yeah the chin the, jaw. the <laughs> jawline yeah so um <laughs> me and you know I'm a huge Batman fan but um hearing that another Batman was coming I was like okay I just hope that it brings something new to the table because so far every iteration of Batman has brought in something else some of them I've liked more than others but they've all been something different you yeah. know right. so and hopefully this will bring something new Apart from Christian Bale's Batman or Ben Affleck's Batman or Michael Keaton's, mm -hmm. the the font and the lettering just remind me of Joker. <laughs> oh yeah, it kind of yeah. does. Yeah. Like I mean, so if it's that feel already, then yeah. I'm you already got a logo change too. This is a new Batman. Yeah. And, and new Batman this, logo. What, did he confirm the rating for this? Oh, I, yeah, yeah, it's 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 rated R. I don't know oh. if it's confirmed. I, well, I, yeah, I saw a but, lot of reports. I think saying, after this trailer, seeing it, I think we can I think pretty much can, guess. Yeah. If it's Have you seen it? I haven't seen it. I saw no, like we could probably guess. I was on Twitter and there guess. was like a five uh, second clip, one, and I only saw the first three seconds. I haven't seen anything. Me either. Play it. Let's go. Come on. Let's get it rolling. All right. No ad. I haven't been this giddy in so long. No. We don't care about no no me. Uh, can't skip it. Alright. Come on. Alright, let's get it. One. Alright, here you go. What if it's a, like poor internet connection? <laughs> no! <laughs> I leave this house. I'm sorry, you know what comes. Tough tape, okay. Is that Riddler? I know Riddler's part of this, but I don't know. Is that Gordon? I'm your secret friend. No, it's not Gary Oldman. Ah, uh, it's Gordon. Okay. He looks so good. Okay. That's that. Let's play a game. Just me and you. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Dude! 
Wait, 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 wait,
All right, oh, guys. Um, yeah, then that's... Yeah, so that's the video. We're going to put, like I said in the beginning of the video, we're going to have another video, and we're going to show Suicide Squad, the movie, and the game, and, uh, Gotham, Knights. and Gotham, Knights. Gotham Knights, the trailer. So hop on that video when you're done with this, and I think we're going to watch this trailer one more time. So oh, yeah, we will absolutely. see you guys, we'll catch you guys later. later. Yes, sir. See ya.